Good, absolutely beautiful morning, guys. It is a cold, cold morning here on the Mississippi Gulf Coast. We're out here trying to fish. You can see I'm all gloved up, all earmuffed up. We're gonna try and get on some wintertime specks up in these creeks. And after that, when that sun comes up a little bit more, we're gonna push onto the flats to try and get some redfish that we can sight cast to. But we're not gonna waste any more time. I will see y'all out there. Now guys, this is a creek system I have never actually fished, but been looking up in it and wanted to try it. We're going to start off. I have a couple different things I'm trying today. Actually, most of my stuff is new. This is a Redfish Toad Z-Man Jerk Shad on that quarter ounce trout eye jig head with the red eyes. This time of year, I prefer the red eyes more than the golden eyes. Let's see how... Yep, that water is still clear as crap. What I'm worried about is how shallow this water is. This, this might not be the key. I might have to go back out to the other creek out there. Um... Because it has deeper holes. I mean, this is only four feet up in here, so I don't, I don't see there being anything really lively up in here. I might be wrong. I hope I'm wrong, but we'll see. I'm seeing bait, which is a good sign. And I'm starting to think we need to go back out that way to get to the current or to the deeper parts. I'm gonna go back out. So I do want to discuss this morning why I got on the water so late. So this time of year, it's not dire importance that you get on the water at the butt crack of dawn. So I usually get out here around eight or nine. I want, really wanted to get out a little bit later than eight, maybe nine, but I had to go home and do be on baby duty tonight. So we're coming out here at eight. Gonna fish maybe up till one or two and then get off the water. Let's get on something. Go, got something. Come on. Oh man, fighting pretty good. Looks like a decent red. Looks like a really good red. Maybe slot, maybe slot. Oh. Redfish on the redfish toad. They probably just under slot, so we're gonna let them go back. <sighs> First fish of the day down on the jerk shad too. Retrieving pretty slow, not doing anything crazy. If there, I should catch a couple more small reds on this dock for like the third time out here, then we're just gonna skip it. What I'm really trying to find is those speckled trout. So we're gonna cast out to the middle here. Not what I wanted. Do not want my line wrapping around a piling. I swear I felt a thump. Oh, come on now. There we go. Oh, crap. Come on. Come on up. Another small one. Okay. 
<sighs> it's fun catching fish, guys, but I'm about over having to catch small ones. Okay. Another pretty red. Look at that tail. Come on. Right in the bottom of his lip. Alrighty. Come on. There you go. Give me a tail flip. Thank you. Alright, we're going to go ahead and go up here. Because uh, I'm kind of getting tired of catching small reds. I'm marking small stuff on bottom. I might start throwing. It seems like that. That six foot, six foot range is going to be our key today. I think all our big fish are going to be on the uh, on the flats. We're going to try to have some fun over here for a second. Oh, there we go. Nope, small. Yep. Come here. Come here, come here. Alrighty. Hello? Didn't mean to do that. Pretty blue. Pretty. Alrighty. I did not mean to FaceTime you. A redfish called you. Yeah, I was pulling him up into the kayak, and he was just like, I'm going to call your mom. Dave, even the fish know who to call. I'm, I'm wearing gloves and everything. I'm all bundled up. Oh, hang on. Come on. Good Lord, come on. Come on. They are angry this morning. They're small, but they're angry. Where is that hook at? Oh. Look, can, I don't know if you can you see the blue in his tail. Here, I wanted to show you this. You can kind of see it better on this side. Look at right above his eye. He's got a little bit of that blue right above his eye, too. Oh, yeah. He's so pretty. All Love you, too. I'm getting hit. I tell you, this is the weirdest feeling ever wearing these gloves. But they're keeping my hands warm, so I'm going to... Keep wearing them for a little bit. That's a bigger one. Oh, that's a good one. Hello. Oh. Come on now. Oh, this is a nice one. Oh. Yeah, it's a good one. This is a really good one. Heck yeah. There we go. Oh, get that up. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Crap. Oh. Hopefully that's out from under him. Good night. Yeah, there we go. There's Big Mama. Is this the one I tag? He's looking awfully familiar. Okay, I don't I can't swing him in. What am I doing? Come here. Hey, hey. Oh, there we go. Oh, goodness, he's heavy. He might be upper slot. I might be. Holy crap. <laughs> we need to turn around. Oh, I've, I heard something. I was like, where did that come from? These earmuffs have me... Uh, Yeah, he's a good size. Is that a redfish or a trout? Redfish. We were catching, he caught about four of them sitting out here last night. 
Oh yeah, there's tons of tiny ones all up in here, and every now and then there'll be a good size one. That's a beauty. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> I mean, really, when we watched you, we was watching you from the room, you know, our back room, sitting there watching you fight it, so. Okay. <laughs> He's a pretty. Thank you. All right, let me get turned around so I can get in the sunlight. First big one of the morning out here in this deeper water by these docks with that redfish toad z-man jerk shad put up a good little fight i thought he was small at first because all of them fight about the same um i might take him let's see how big he is he is bleeding from the mouth a lot i might just take him home and tag a couple on the flats hey sit down Yeah, 23 and a quarter. I'm gonna tag him. All righty, here's 23 and three quarters. Oh, come here, I know. We're gonna get you back, I promise. Yeah, I know, y'all love hearing that. They'll relax the minute you say, hey, I'm gonna get you back. And a little bit further back. All righty. Tagged Mississippi redfish. Y'all come catch him. Alrighty, give him a minute. I did have him out for quite a while. Come on, buddy. Yeah, there you go. There you go. <laughs> That's always awesome to see. <sighs> Alrighty. Guys, I was going to get set up on this flat, and it's a pretty shallow flat, as y'all can probably see the bottom right now. You can see this plume cloud. I just scared off a whole school of redfish. Didn't even think they'd be here. I figured they'd be farther in. But I was trying to get way over there. I don't even know if y'all can see it. There's a creek mouth over there that has some birds in it. And I didn't even realize that we had birds along this edge of this flat. So we're going to patrol the edge of this flat. I might go back and try to not spook these fish. What I'm going to do is I'm going to dip back into this channel come back out and then come along the side of this flat right here and see if we can't get these freaking redfish we might throw the ned rig at first we're gonna have to figure out what they're really tuned into it's probably gonna be shrimp because shrimp are real they don't move a lot <clears throat> usually this time of year we have our redfish on focused on shrimp and crabs so that gum i'm only 1.2 and I'm stirring up mud. Let's get back in this channel and then start patrolling this. I didn't think they'd be out here, but I mean, this is, I was trying that north, there's a north flat and there's a south flat. I wanted to go up in that north flat, but there's no water in that north flat. We can cast far with this. But this is the kicker crab in the actual blue claw color. We are finally able to get one in the blue claw color which is perfect. It looks just like a blue crab. This is on our, so what we're gonna be throwing this on is our Pin Squadron 3 medium light fast action rod. This is it's 20 pound big game mono to 10 pound Daiwa J braid. And this is a Daiwa Fuego down here, 2500. This is the old Fuego, this isn't the new Fuegos. But uh, we're gonna just try blind casting first. This sinks pretty slow and we have to retrieve it pretty slow or else it just comes right up. I'll give those fish a minute to calm down. I'm not, they're just too spooked right now. If we can't find anything up here, then we'll circle back and try and get these guys over here. But just how spooked they are, they're not gonna bite anything right now.
Here he is, here he is. Dad, got it. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> yeah! Did y'all see that? That was sick! Yes! Yes, son! That's what we wanted this whole time! Yes! <laughs> Sight casting reds with the freaking kicker crab! Oh my gosh, my heart's racing! Oh! Goodness gracious! Yes! Oh my heart! Oh. He's up for slot too. Heck yes. Oh my gosh, I'm shaking. Okay. I had to I had to really be careful with how I threw at him. I had to throw way way past him. Oh, come here. Come here. No, 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 he ain't done yet. He ain't done. He ain't done. <laughs> he still got tons of energy left in him. But uh, I had to be really careful about how I uh, cast it to him. Because... <sighs> first time I cast to him, I scared him. Good night. Open that bale. God bless, he's heavy. Ugh. Heck yes, dude. Heck yes! Yeah! Oh my gosh. Man, there ain't nothing in the world like sight casting a red. It is absolutely amazing. There we go. Look at that, guys. <laughs> On the freaking kicker crab. Then the blue claw, claw color. Oh, it's a boy, too. I was right. A big boy. Look at that tail. Oh my gosh. Gosh, we're probably gonna tag him too. Get him back in the water. Oh crap. Hang on, buddy. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Hey, hey, I will get it out your mouth. Boy then, I don't want you destroying my rod. Oh. Perfect set hook set. Got to watch him eat and everything. Oh. Hang on. Hey, hey, hey. Lay flat. Lay flat. Calm down. You're going back in the water. Oh, upper slot. 27 and a quarter. Yep. All righty. Another beautifully tagged Mississippi redfish. Upper slot. Y'all come catch her. If she grows anymore, let me know. All right. Oh, you ready? Okay. Go on. Heck yes. Heck yes. Now, if she would have grabbed that kicker crab again, then we would have had problems because she went right past it. Or he went right past it, but pretty good morning. I uh, didn't think it was going to end up like this. I was really hoping to catch some specks early on, but they might not even be biting until now. Now that I know the redfish are, we're, uh, we're in for some fun. We're in a tiny creek way back in the bayou. Really just exploring, not really hunting down any fish. And then I saw a fish just dart past me. Oh my gosh, there's no freaking way that just happened. <laughs> but it did, it freaking did. <laughs> Crap. Oh my gosh. Crap. He is hung up in my freaking drive. Yeah, he is. Crap. No, he came off. Ah. Dad, gum it. I thought I saw for a second him flash right behind it. But I didn't want to get my hopes up. All I did was just start straight retrieving it. 
because uh it was too shallow up in here that sucks that would have been my limit right there he knew exactly what he was doing though Hats off to him for being smart enough to go up underneath my kayak. All right, guys, that's going to do it for the end of this video. We had a pretty freaking awesome day. We caught two good-sized red, plenty of rat reds. That's just a trend that's going on right now. They're getting bigger since the summer, but still a little bit small. They need to grow a little bit bigger. Hopefully, when they finally do become good slot size, everybody doesn't start pulling them out the water and taking them home because then we won't have any good slot size fish but as always i hope y'all enjoyed the video i always put these reports up on salt strong so if you're an insider member you can go check them out there and if you're not salt strong's an awesome community that has helped me out a lot so if you're thinking about joining you can go check my link below i have a referral link down there that i'll put in the description and as always leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it comment on what you want to see next and i will see y'all next time Peace.